We are learning more about the circumstances of the ambush that killed four law enforcement officers in Charlotte this week. Manuel Bojorquez spoke to an eyewitness with a dramatic account of what happened and to a friend of one of the victims. This bullet riddled home is what remains. After a dramatic gun battle between a fugitive task force and a convicted felon wanted for firearms possession. From what you saw, the, the, the suspect was shooting from... Yeah, from that window. From upstairs. Yeah, from upstairs. I Sung think Chun was at home next door when the firefight then. broke out. He recorded video of officers taking cover behind this vehicle. This is where the officers perished. Yes, two over here and uh, two on the other side. The slain officers include Deputy U.S. Marshal Thomas Weeks, William Alden Elliott, and Sam Poloche, both 14-year veterans of the State Department of Corrections, and Joshua Iyer, a member of the Charlotte-Mecklenburg Police Department. All four men had children. It's been very tough, and knowing that you have families that are hurting right now. Police Chief Johnny Jennings was emotional Tuesday talking about the fallen officers. Officer Iyer was just a few weeks ago, I'm shaking his hand, congratulating him for being officer of the month. Jennings says Iyer was shot while trying to assist a task force member. Iyer was once DeMonte White's school resource officer and inspired him to pursue a career in law enforcement. I will remember that um, the impact that he made in our school in the community, as he did every day, putting on that badge and come out here and protect and serve. And I remember that there's really not that many guys like Joshua. And behind me is Officer Iyer's police vehicle draped in the U.S. flag and covered with flowers serving as a memorial. The suspect in this case was also killed. Nate? A heartbreaking tragedy. Manuel, thank you.